Omega Lady Matic presents Leading Women. Inside China's biggest internet search company, Baidu. And up close with its chief financial officer. The no-nonsense executive joined Baidu four years ago after more than a decade at General Motors. It didn't take her long to fit in. This is a company about technology and the technology really changes people's lives. And I fell in love with it. And it's just in my blood now I feel. A turnaround for a woman who once resisted a career in IT, opting for one in corporate finance. Now she has her hands in both. Gender is not a factor when it comes to success in the professional setting. It is your attitude towards work. It's about passion for excellence. It is about determination. The exec who commands the number two spot at this $40 billion company is Jennifer Lee. In the heart of Beijing is an internet giant referred to as China's Google. With more than 16,000 employees, hundreds of millions of users, Baidu, not Google, rules internet searches in China. Robin created the company about 12 years ago and throughout the way has built really the biggest uh, Chinese uh, language search engine in the world. Baidu CFO Jennifer Lee is referring to her boss Robin Lee, who after getting his start in California's Silicon Valley, pulled up stakes and came home to start Baidu. Today, Lee, no relation to Jennifer Lee, is one of the richest men in the country, and his search engine is king. Google pulled out of mainland China in 2010 over claims of government censorship, leaving the field wide open for Baidu. <laughs> Jennifer Lee is quick to point out Baidu's success is not by default. I think we need to put things in perspective. At the time Google exited the China market, Baidu already commanded over 70% of the market and Google was about 20. You know, search engine itself by far has created tremendous access to information for people. And with more than 1 billion potential internet users in this market, Baidu's phenomenal growth is likely to increase, and so too its number of employees. When I joined the company, we had about 6,000 people. Now we have 16,000 people. So, you know, the company throughout the past four years has grown tremendously. Which has the company searching for new software to manage its human resources. On this day, Lee is listening to a presentation by the company Accenture. You know, what I don't want to see is I'm the CFO here, but uh, you know, I'm also uh, looking after like HR functions, marketing functions. It's very dynamic, typically during the day. The day goes by very fast. That's my family, yeah. Uh, it all adds up to roughly 10 hours a day at the office, says this mother of two. I love my kids, so I would, would like to spend more time with them. I love my job too, and uh, you know, I, every single minute here is uh, well spent. But then I typically leave the weekends uh, to kids. Lee says she's figured out how to balance work and family life, and that the company culture at Baidu and China overall makes it possible for women to excel at the highest levels. I feel China is very open-minded when it comes to women executives. The society is very open, and I feel many um, companies create a very level uh, playground uh, when it comes to employment. I think really coming to become a female executive it is more about what it takes to become an executive, less so about being a female. In the coming weeks, we'll bring you more with Jennifer Lee, including some tough love she'll offer women. Gender in the work environment should not be a factor uh, when it comes to 
how far you can go. Your fate is your, in your own hand. You, I cannot complain about the environment, how other people should be treating me and giving me opportunities. Oftentimes, is what you do and how you earn those opportunities.